Hello! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Peak Finder tool in SDC Verifier. In order to represent our results, uh, we will use the model containing BIM and shell elements. And the model, uh, in the model, we created one job with five individual loads, five load sets, and a few load groups. Let's preview the stress result results for our envelope load sets group. In order to do that, please right click on the group and create contour plot. Here we can choose our category and the uh, load group for which we would like to uh, show our uh, results. By this button, you can preview the result. As you can see, uh, we have some stress values higher than uh, 200 megapascals, but we don't see exactly which elements are overstressed. Uh, in order to show uh, all the peak zones, we can use our peak finder tool. To do that, please go to your model tree, uh, open post processing tab, and right click on the uh, peak finder. Uh, Finder button here and press Add. Here in the Peak Finder uh, window, you can select uh, two options. You can preview your results from the load or from the check. Let's choose the load category stress. You can choose uh, also different categories here and your direction. On the right hand side, you can select the range of your Peak Finder. I will select the range and I would like to preview all elements which have results higher or equal than 200 megapascal. And after all the data is, data is filled, please press OK. As you can see on the left hand side, Peak Finder uh, rule was created. I can add here the table by right, right clicking on it. And here you can select your loads for which you would like to see the uh, peak zones. I will select our uh, envelope. Here you can select selection of your model. And on the bottom uh, there is a plot type where you can select uh, the values or uh, IDs which you would like to present, uh, type of your labels, uh, font size and if you would like to uh, preview the result only for words or for the full uh, When you set up all the uh, settings, press fill and you can see that we have four zones with uh, stress higher than 220 megapascals. Uh, I can select all of them and preview them uh, on our plot. As you can see, uh, there is a stress value on every zone and uh, all other parts of the model are transparent. So you can clearly see which elements are uh, meet your uh, Peak Finder criteria. When we go back to our Peak Finder window, there is also a possibility to create the um, table with uh, load set content with factors and uh, and, uh, and graph. Let's create the table for all zones. As you can see, uh, in the table each zone uh, contains the load which uh, have influence on our results together with percentage uh, which load has the highest percentage uh, influence on our uh, zone. We can also create uh, our graph. As you can see, we have also uh, influence uh, of each individual load shown in, uh, with the graph here. Uh, 